Welcome to working with Mad Mapper. Mad Mapper is a projection mapping software. It's part of a, a range of software that can be used in order to project onto any angle, the sides of buildings, the sides of boxes, whatever you want, and do multiple projection, controlled, complete with masking as well. Now this is one part of a software. There's a range that can actually sync with it using Siphon technology. But uh, at this stage, we've only got um, the Mad Mapper, which has a few limitations because of only being able to project one image at a time. So what you need to do is actually work out what you want to project onto and uh, create the imagery so you can use sections of it for working with this uh, initial stage of the mapping software. Just to start off with, I'm just going to show you something that we're going to map onto for this example. Just a simple scene, it's got a few surfaces, and we're going to um, use this, basically, just to, to map a scene to it. Now, ideally, when you're actually mapping, you know, to tweak things, you're on location, so you can have your projector set and um, just move, move things, essentially, into place. But just for this example, when we don't have the actual um, location, or we're not at the location, I just want to show you how you can work this, basically, to to get it pretty well nailed and maybe just tweak it when you actually take it through to the actual location itself. So here's our scene that we're going to use to, to map something onto. So obviously we need uh, some material to map to. So the other example here, just with the second file, is I've just got a movie file. You can map still images or movie images. Uh, no problem with that, but um, it does add a little bit more finesse if you've got some movement in the scene. So I'm just going to click on this just to show you a scene that's just been constructed in order to um, add this mapping feature to it. In this case, just a, a background with a, a dragon character and, and uh, basically a fireplace. So I'll just play this through. And um, it's just simply um, an image, it's just a background scene. And what we can do within the mapping process is simply just pick elements of that out and uh, just this essentially just loops through um, this files and keep it playing through uh, a selected background scenery. Now, obviously, this is a scenery that we're putting together, but you can create very um, uh, interactive um, illusions that um, will work nicely when putting together more um, exhibition-based work as well. But this is just a background scenery example. Anyway, I'm just going to close that file. Now the other thing that's important, I'm just going to open up um, just the application folder, is our Mad Mapper software is here. And that's great for doing uh, most of the stuff we might need in order to put this example together. Now there's also a few other files that they're basically effects to work with line, um, graphics, um, there's a generator, we can even work by pulling um, movie footage, whether you're using it from your onboard camera on your computer or actually sourcing it from um, video that's being shot so you can actually use live action as well with some of these tools. So just want to go through a few of them just give you a feeling for them. Okay what I'm going to do is just basically um, set uh, Mad Mapper up so just by double clicking on the file here I'll just bring Mad Mapper up into the scene and so we can just see what's, um, what's appearing here. Now, essentially, when you open Mad Mapper, you're going to have just a window here that basically will show what's happening. You can actually, at any stage, just under your um, output, just go to full screen. And when you want to go back to normal view, it's just Command T. But that will show you the full screen of whatever monitor you're using to, to project this or when you actually want to see how it's looking through the projector as you test things in the actual environment. Just below that, so just you can just move these backwards and forwards to see the full screen. You're going to see just the image window here where we load our files into and um, then load our mapping elements into that, which will appear in this output window. The same image that you'll see here, but without any lines. So what we want to do is we're going to load some files into um, this window, into this scene here, and um, 
well, in fact, we're just going to load the one to begin with, and we can just see how we can work that and actually map it onto um, our background to test it. Okay, so I'm just going to save this file and um, just save it with the other files I've got in this folder. Let's call that uh, Man Mapper Test. And just save it all ready to go. So the next movie will load something in there and start working with it. Initially we're going to map our background and then bring the video based imagery in there first.